Hey everybody, it's Saffron and welcome to my channel. I am doing a two-in-one video, both of which I should have done a while ago. First, we have a Pan That Palette update. Um, I should have filmed this in like November when I hit pan in these shades and I kept pushing it off, but here we are. Some of them want to fall out. But I have up in the top corner here, all three of these shades have hit pan, which means I'm done with them. Because this is a palette that it's just a lot of really old shadows and I just want to feel like I've gotten some use of them before I throw them entirely away. So I used all of these till they each hit pan and now I am working on the purples down here. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. Woohoo! So that is my update on that. Next, my empties video. I've been trying to do them for every two months, but then I never got around to filming at the end of February. So here's my empties for the year so far. In my pretty well box. So I used up a lot of the Body Shop skincare. Um, the toner, my skin is just reacting poorly with now. It like, I don't know, it doesn't sting or burn, it just makes me a little red and I don't like that. So while there's a little bit left in this little trial size, I just, I have other toners that don't do that to me, so bye bye for to that. Also in Tea Tree, my skin clearing lotion is very empty, as you can see by how much I squished it to get the last bit out. Then in my aloe collection, I used up the Gentle Exfoliator. Calming Facial Cleanser, and the Day and Night Creams. And these I was working on, I got all of these, I would say, I don't know what month, I got them this summer. Um, they're not bad, but I've found other products since that are better for my skin, so I will not be repurchasing those. I used up a little purse size lotion from Victoria's Secret. This is such a flirt, which is a star fruit and white orchid. It was a pleasant scent. It's gone now. I don't know if they make that scent anymore. This is embarrassingly old. And now it's used. Also, apologies if you hear any weird cat sounds in the background of my video. There is a cat in my neighborhood that wanders around and then my cats yowl at it when it's on my patio because it's invading their territory. Cats. Alright, I'm actually going to finish up with skincare first before I move on to my other items. Um, not empty but I'm throwing it away. This is my Metro gel that my grandma gave me. It's actually not bad at clearing acne, but it expired in September of 2014. And I recently got some alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid items that I'm going to be using instead of this. Plus, it like flakes up when it dries, and that is not appealing. I also actually used up a lip balm, which is shocking because I have lip balm everywhere. I have a lip balm in every purse, I have a lip balm at my desk, I have a lip balm next to my recliner, everywhere. This is Burt's Bees Wild Cherry and I even dug into it to try and get the last of it before I remembered I have other lip balms I'm still working on that I could use instead of scraping myself. Why am I doing that? Alright, and we have some makeup stuff. 
These aren't empty, but they have gone bad. They smell funny. These are a couple of the little Ulta sample nail polishes that come. Um, they're part of those little sample kits that you get when you spend $19.50 whenever they do that deal. This shade is Bittersweet, and this one is Ruby Slipper. They are pretty, but they don't last very long. I'm used to julep polishes, which last a lot longer on my nails. These like chip within a day, whereas julep takes like two to three days to chip. So I'm not really going to use those. I am also... I have a bunch of NYX lip liners, which... My lips are just too dry for lip liners. I keep trying to use them and it's not a good look. I just, it just accentuates how flaky I am. So this is hot red. This is Auburn. It is a lip liner, but it's called Auburn. I found that interesting. And this one is nude pink. And yes, it's almost completely full or whatever. Speaking of pencils, this is the Maybelline Brow Precise. The spoolie's okay, but the brow pencil, it is so soft that it adhere it just crumbles as you're putting it on. And so it, it just does not work. It's not a very effective item for me. Meow. Hi, Frankie. Is you my cute cat? Is you my cute cat? Do you want to make an appearance in the video? No? Okay. Alright, moving right along. My Ulta eyeshadow primer in Champagne. I've had this for an embarrassingly long time. It's taken me about two years to actually use it up all the way. So there's a lot in there and a little goes a really long way. It's not even completely empty. I just decided to get rid of it because it's mostly empty and the color is a little too dark for my complexion personally. For anyone who's not a ghost, this will work fine, but hi, my name's Casper. And we have the Elf Wrinkle Refiner. I got this to try it because it was like a couple bucks, so why not? And all it does is it goes on your eye, it goes on your under eye area, and then as soon as you try and put makeup on top of it, it crumbles and pills and looks terrible, so I tried it. It didn't work for me. It works for some people. Yay for them. I have three lipsticks that I used up. This one is Essence Lipstick in Honey Bee. Again, it got to the point where I couldn't put it on my lip anymore. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? And this is an Ulta Lipstick in... Oh goodness, what color are you? It's... I don't know, I can't read it. It's a matte metallic... And I just don't like the way it looks on my, that this texture looks on my lips. I'm not a fan of matte. Why did I get it? I don't remember. And then we have a CoverGirl Smoochies in hashtag true love. And it's like at an angle on there. I just, why am I like this? Why do I do this to myself? How do I do this? I don't even know. But yeah, they get to a point where I can't actually apply them anymore because my I, my application method makes them such a strange shape. My next item, the container is empty, but I actually do still have the product. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Powder. This is a little sample of it. I actually put it into my Physician's Formula pow Loose Powder and mixed them together because they were quite nicely together and also it lightened the physician's formula up a hair so it wasn't quite so obscenely dark on me and my final item is the elf shimmer whip in spotlight 
there's still a lot of product but it's starting to separate so every time I'd go to use it be, there'd be all this water coming out so it is time for this to go so that was my garbage for the last couple months uh, please do give a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to see more, and feel free to leave any comments down below. Thank you!